Queensbridge is crazy. Turn the wrong corner and you will die. I was not going to be a drug dealer. I'm here to play basketball. I never questioned Ryan's ability. Every single day, I questioned where he was mentally. He had demons. He had a disease he couldn't handle. I figured out that I need help. Who comes back from what we dismiss as crazy and rescues himself? You had a Showtime Doc Quiet Storm um, with Showtime with the family. Uh, tell us what that experience was like. And yeah, I thought it was a dope, Yo, super dope to tell your story. Quiet, quiet Storm is dope. I, um, uh, Bleacher Report first came and was like, "Yo, we want to do a story on you." In my mind, I'm like, "I want some money. <laughs> what I want a story for? I'm not, I'm not a social. I'm not an influencer. I don't even want nobody talking about me. <laughs> yeah, I take the money." So we started. We, we figured that part out. And then like, I'm like, what, what are we gonna talk about? Like, I, I don't even want a documentary at this point. I don't want, I don't want, I don't want the documentary. <laughs> I want to just chill. But anyway, we get to it, right? Showtime comes in. I'm like, oh, this is crazy. This is what's happening. Mm -hmm. I'm like, damn. What you, you know what I mean? So we about to do something real. So, but I really wanted some of my other friends from Queensbridge Music on a documentary. Yeah. Because when you talk on a documentary about, yeah. <laughs> Mm -hmm. There's a little more. I'm like, I ain't trying to tell you what to do. Just listen to me. Listen to me. You know so, what the soundtrack should sound like. Yeah, I know what. Yeah, I know what the feel. You know what I'm saying? Um, but it was still a great doc. That's the see when people are doing documentaries with networks, like it's give and take, right? Network putting up all the cash. You know, you you know, listen, <laughs> and you give your input. Or they got a story. You got somebody telling the stories. They know how to do it. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? But so with that being said, great experience at this point. We are getting nominated. We, you know, are um, on Hulu. Like, oh, this is crazy, mm -hmm. right? From that standpoint. And then also, I, I really, people said they changed their life. Some people said it changed my life. I'm like, oh, wow. Because people don't know I was going through all that at that mm -hmm. time with the doc. But at the same time, it turned out great. It was a great message. Um, we, we had Nas music. We had Mob Deep music. We had my cousin Capone in mm. there, you know. Um, but it was great. Quiet Storm. Um, Great experience. I think I think on the mental health side, I didn't want it to go. It, so it was supposed to be how I play ball, for one. Mm -hmm. So I didn't think doing a mental health doc was going to work. You know, or I, want, I didn't want to be a part of it. Right. You know what I'm saying? I was like, let's do basketball. But it turned out great. It was important. I, I think, <laughs> you know, great. it's something that, that, that is, if, before, if you spoke on it, it was a we it was weakness, or you were showing weakness. But I think more, it's coming to an age now where you can speak on it and realize, like yeah. you you said throughout this whole interview, that amongst your job, which is basketball, there's always shit going on in your life. Yeah, and there's yeah, always yeah, yeah. something going on in your life, and I think people don't understand that no matter what is going on in our life, good, bad, in between, we still have to focus and try to be perfect on that basketball court because that's yeah, our job. Yeah, 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 definitely. But it's so much that goes into that actually happening that people have no idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's true. 